Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is your host, the Beast Science Seminar, coming at you with a mouse review. So I've had this mouse for a good couple months now, and I want to tell you guys, hands down, this is the worst mouse I've ever owned. I'll tell you guys why in a minute. So whether you have a setup like this, you have a laptop setup connected to a big display, and yes, guys, I'm doing modded Minecraft today. I just am in the mood to play with some hobbits, get drunk with some hobbits. That's my life goal right there, guys. But anyways, so whether you have a setup like this, and you have a wireless mouse, whether you even are even using your laptop bare for gaming, you need a wireless, not wireless, but a mouse, whether wireless or wired. So we're very well impacted by the quality of our gaming mouse, depending if you get a gaming mouse, optical mouses, there's so many different kinds of mouses. But this one we're looking at today is an optical mouse. It says it complies for home or office use. So, all those office beefs out there, do not buy this frickin' mouse. All those people out there that are looking for their first mouse, do not buy this mouse. This mouse will haunt your dreams and ruin your childhood. This mouse will scar you for life. This mouse is just, hands down, the worst mouse you can buy. Oh, shockingly, it's not coming apart right now. Normally, when you do that, it comes right apart. <sighs> Damn it. Last, last, we actually did a previous take of this, and it came right apart. Technical difficulties, guys. There it goes. Okay. Last time, this thing came apart very easily. Now it's giving us trouble. It's trying to be a good quality mouse for the YouTube video, but it's really not. Anyways, guys. So this mouse is constructed of two main pieces, of course, made out of a really cheap plastic compared to some of our standards. This piece of plastic is surprisingly thick and it feels really good quality, but believe it or not, it's the same plastic as this, very cheap quality. Of course, with this plastic right here on the overall casing of the mouse, you could see how damaged it is. Look at that. That's literally what happens when this mouse gets dropped. The plastic will just shatter like that. So this is definitely a cheap quality mouse. They didn't definitely did not use the proper amount of plastics and if they didn't weren't very wisely with this. Of course, for 10 bucks, you really can't complain, but you can. I actually have a previous mouse by On that was like around 10 bucks and I never had an issue with it. But this one, I don't know guys. I just don't know. This one's just horrible. I don't know what they did, but they use really cheap ideas for the plastic, very cheap. And then the overall casing is just generally cheap. You guys can hear that. All the components aren't very well secured in there. Of course, they. I think the most money they spent on it was for these LEDs. I think that's where most of the price comes from. Comes with a nice blue LED, red LED, and it has its board right there. And I think that's pretty much as expensive as it goes, is with the com internal components. And not even that, guys. The scroll wheel is absolutely horrible. Like, let's go into Minecraft real quick and try to scroll. You guys can see I'm scrolling down, and it's just scrolling all over the place. Sometimes it won't even scroll. It's not working properly. It never does. It's just the accuracy is horrible, guys. So just imagine if you're working in an office and you're trying to scroll through some documents. You're not going to be able to. you got to use drag down the side of the bar. And what if you don't want to do that? Well, that's why do not buy this mouse. Just no matter how hard you try, how hard you press, this thing is gonna be very unreliable. I'll tell you guys why. You guys can see in that, that internal component right there, what kind of technology they used for the scroll wheel. See, there's a little piece of metal wire right there. Don't know how that technology works. I'm guessing that it's a conductive wire and when you scroll the wheel, there's little pieces of metal that it connects to telling you telling it what way it's scrolling so maybe that's why this thing is so crappy i don't know but definitely one of the worst scroll mouses i've ever used by far when you get it brand new it's fine but over time this thing just gets absolutely horrible the technology fails on it so pretty much guys that's the whole entire mouse there's really nothing to it guys of course take a look at it from the side you can see all the internal components all those people that like to see capacitors and stuff but anyways guys if you're actually looking for a really good mouse and you don't want to have you're not you don't want to joke with anyone you actually want a reliable mouse 
definitely do not get this mouse. I don't remember what the mouse brand is, but definitely, guys, do not look into this mouse. It's just absolutely horrible, guys. By $10 standards compared to other mouses, this one is a joke. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it for now, guys. And also, one last thing. Next video, we're going to do a teardown of my keyboard, cleaning it up. You guys see, it's looking very dirty today. Look at all that dog hair and stuff. Now, we got to get this sucker all cleaned up. This thing's a disgrace for our setup. And, of course, guys, still doing the office setup video. We're going to reset everything up. Kind of like what I, the setup I have going on right now, but we'll see if we can improve it. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.